Hi, welcome back to EducateTube.com. My name is Sipsky, your host. In this video, I'm going to attempt to fix my washing machine. Yesterday, my daughter was uh, washing her clothes and she noticed that there was water leaking on the floor. And I came down, I noticed that there was uh, water flowing from the back. So there was something wrong with the water inlet valve and it feels like it's the hot water. So I decided to take out the panel from the back and, and look at it and realize that the plastic uh, from the valve broke and so water was leaking. So in this video, I'm going to do two things. I'm going to try to fix the plastic itself. So I'm not going to use the hot water. I'm just, I'm just going to use a cold water washing machine for now. And then I'm going to order the parts. And once the part comes, I will install the original parts. So I will have the hot and cold water because I don't want to wait for a week to get the part and we won't have any way to wash our clothes. Okay, so that's what I'm going to do first. I tried to fix the water regulator controller, the valve itself. I will seal that and just use the cold water. And then when the part comes, install that again. All right, so journey with me as I attempt to fix this washing machine and it will save me at least 700 bucks. All right, and also it will save the environment as well because the part itself is pretty uh, cheap. It's around 70 bucks. The labor is free and um, I don't need to buy a new machine which is going to cost me close to $900. All right, let's get started. All right, so when you start trying to anyway, fixing your washing machine, you need to know what might be the problem, right? The first thing, of course, is to take out the uh, power cord so you don't get electrocuted. The next thing, of course, is the, the water hose. So I took it out already. From the back, there should be hot and uh, cold water hose. Take that out, unscrew that, and you're ready to go. Now, if there's water inside the washing machine, you make sure that you can uh, drain it. And then what you want to do next is find out what is the problem. For my case, uh, it is the uh, valve that is leaking. The hot water, I think, is a plastic. Uh, what I'll do is I'll go to the back panel and unscrew that and take out the whole section of the valve uh, regulator or controller, whatever they call it. And then what I'll do is I'll seal the hot water side because I still want to use it while I order the parts, right? So. I'm going to order the parts from Amazon and uh, see if I can fix it myself. But I want to make sure I can fix it by unscrewing it, take it out, and then put it back in the one that is broken. At least the um, hot water section, I can seal that first and get the cold water section working. And while I'm waiting for the parts that's coming, I can then still use this machine. And once uh, that part comes, I will then install it and get the whole thing work hot and cold. So that at least I know that that is the problem. And if it doesn't work, at least I now feel comfortable buying a new washing machine that's about 800 bucks. Now you're probably wondering why not just get a, a repairman to fix it. Well, because for me, I already know what the problem is. I watch YouTube videos and also looking at the back, it looked like it's not that difficult to uh, take out the water flow inlet part and uh, reinstall it. So it doesn't look that bad. If it is bad, then of course, um, I'm probably end up buying a new uh, machine anyway, okay? You have to look at the, the benefits, right? So if you get a, a, a repairman and they bought the kit, it will be at least 150 bucks, and then the repair will be another 100, 200 dollars. You're looking at close to three, 400 dollars to repair this machine, and a new machine is like 900 dollars. You gotta look at the benefits, like 400, three, 400 dollars to fix it, and a new machine is 900. With a new machine, have more warranty, and there's other part might fail if you, you still stick to the old machine. So if you could fix it yourself, so that's why I was thinking, you know, if I can fix it myself, then that would be a better option. And then if I can't fix it, I will end up buying a new one anyway. Uh, I could get a repairman to fix it, but the problem is the modules or the, the, the part that is um, damaged isn't that bad. Now, if it's the electronic part where, you know, I get error on this machine, and the, let's say the uh, board, the circuit board need to be replaced or some kind of electronics, definitely I would not fix it myself because I don't know anything about it, okay? So let's now try to fix it. Okay, let's take out the back panel and then go from there. All right, so the first thing I want to do is to take out the power uh, outlet 
that's, that's what I did. And of course the holes, that's what I did as well. So the next step of course is to uh, take out the back panel. So let's move this, this is pretty heavy actually. And there we have it, we're gonna open up the back panel. Okay, so let's unscrew the back panel. There we go, and then just snap it out like that. There we go, you can see there's a plastic covering that we can take out. As you can see, I already took out the hot water regulator, this part here, that was fitting into this valve regulator here, okay? So this was actually loose and water was actually coming out from there. It's pretty dangerous actually. There you have the hot water part. This is the cold water section. And there's also a cold and hot water mixed together as well. So these regulator that allows water to flow in and out. So this was broken. I can see that the plastic here, I don't know why they made it out of plastic because you know, as hot water interact with plastic, over time, it's gonna get brittle and break. So this is a common problem, I think. I mean, thinking about the chemistry behind, you know, plastic and hot water, over time, this will break. It gets, um, you know, temperature change, plastic, any kind type of plastic uh, will break over time. So this is a common problem that, you know, you might want to look at. If you see water coming down from, you know, floor or coming back from, from the back, then most likely these are the problem, especially the hot water regular section here where the motor turns off and on, right? This thing control whether the water is flowing in and out. Apparently it's broken. So, or the plastic anyway is broken. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, the first thing I wanna do is I'll look at this part, take it out, see if I can order the parts. I think it's this, uh, a common part that I can get on Amazon for around 80 bucks. And then what I'll do first, once I order, it will take about at least a week. What I'll do next is just to seal this hot water section and let it run on cold water for washing for now. So at least I can wash my clothes. And then when the uh, original part comes, I will then put it back, the original new one, and uh, get the hot water going as well. So that's what I'm attempting to do. Another thing is I wanna make sure that I'm able to disassemble it and put it back. So if I can disassemble it and put it back, I know that the original part would be easy to install, right? So that's what I was thinking, that at least I can take it apart knowing where the uh, parts are located and then I can then install the new original parts back. But what I need to do first is make sure I label these connector, right? These are power connector to run these motor here. Okay, this is a valve motor that allows it to turn off and on, allow the water to flow in and out. So I make sure that I have some kind of labeling system here. Okay, let's, let me do that first before I proceed. All right, so let's label this. Always label the typical wires. You don't put the wrong parts here. Okay, this is number one. This is number one. Okay, this is one. This is okay, number two. Okay, number one. Call it something all. What it is? Number two. Number two. Okay. Oops. Number three. So now I got the electrical part out of the way, knowing where I can put it later. That's good. Okay. Now I have to unscrew this. This is the valve inlet water flow system. You have the regulator. This is the motor that turns off and on. It's like a switch here, this hot part is broken as you can see I took it out already but right now I'm going to order the parts but I still want to use it so I'm going to try to seal this uh, hot water section here I'm not going to turn the hot water on just the cold water but I noticed that even with the cold water the water flows into these valves okay so I want to make sure that that's not what's going to happen here 
And also I want to make sure that I can actually take it out. If you know how to take it out and put it back in uh, its original form, most likely you're able to uh, replace with a new module, water flows regular system. Doesn't look that bad. Let's see what else I need to take out here. Oh, look at that. It's pretty easy to take out. Now this part here requires a little of this holes, okay. Let me label this black holes. Label everything so you know where to put it back. So you know how to put it back. So the black hose has a clipper that's kind of like a, a spring allowing it to seal pretty tight. So I am able to unclip that. Now I just have to screw it out of this inlet valve system. You don't put too much force. Oop, don't break the plastic either. <laughs> Okay, so there it is. This is the module. This part here is broken. As you can see, the hot water part, the plastic end here is broken. Okay, so I will replace this uh, water valve uh, inlet system that's broken and order on Amazon for I think around $80, 70 to $80 and get that going up. Meantime, I'm gonna try to fix it, at least get the cold water valve working it's working except that um, the water that's flowing from the cold can also go to the hot water. I'm going to shut off this hot water end. What I'll do is I'll seal it completely with hot glue and so the water flows only towards the cold side only. I don't want the hot water to come from here. I just want to use the cold water. So that's what I'm going to do. Okay, so let's do that. Let's attempt to seal it up with uh, resin and hot glue. Once that's done, we'll see if it works. All right, and then we'll wait for the original new parts to come and we'll install it again. But at least I know how easy it is. It's just these um, holes, valve that is connected, just fit it right in. The only more complicated part is this black hole here, this black holes here that I need to clip it on. But other than that, that's pretty e easy and then you screw it back. Okay, so let's do that. All right, before I continue on, I just wanna show you that the model number for this machine, the Samsung uh, washing machine, is actually located at the back of the panel. The number is right here, WA422PRHDWR. The part number is correlated to the part number for this uh, parts. So I check the parts for this and then I look for whether it fits this model here. On Amazon, it actually say that I can order once exactly this uh, it's a third party one, it's not the original Samsung, but from the review, it seems like it works really well. So I'm gonna do that. So just make sure that you have the model number listed and it corresponds to the parts that you are trying to purchase, which is this one here, okay? So I'll uh, purchase now and get that on Amazon. In the meantime, I'm just gonna put back this original piece that's broken. I'm not gonna use the hot water so notice here I plugged it in completely and then I'm going to shut off the hose, the hot water hose. And then I'm just going to put in just the cold water hose just for now uh, because the part's going to come in about a week or so. And I still want to use my uh, washing machine so it will be using just cold water. So it should still work on uh, cold washing. Alright, so what I'll do is I'm not going to turn on the hot water valve. Okay, this is gonna be just completely not connected to the hot uh, water hose. The cold water will be on because these uh, valve regulator still works. I'm gonna completely seal it with hot glue and maybe a resin as well and um, to, to make sure the water doesn't uh, come out. Actually, the water shouldn't come out at all. The, the problem is that some of the cold water will come into this valve and then cause this thing to spray out. Okay, that's the problem here. Otherwise, I wouldn't have sealed it. It's just that there's some water that's flowing into this valve here and there's a water that's coming out from this hose which I don't want it to uh, to leak. So we're going to have to seal this part here. Okay? And that's what I'm going to do. 
yeah and then this will be temporary for a week or so until I get my uh, new parts coming in and uh, install the new one okay as you can see I'm sealing it in completely Okay, so it's done. I sealed this part here on top as well. I will not connect the hot water hose in here. Um, at least I'll turn that off, right? And the water, cold water hose will come into here. It will flow into these two valves as well as this valve here, but it will not flow into the hot water valve, which is actually leaking. So we sealed it. So that should be okay. This is temporary solution to get at least the washing machine working uh, for cold water washing. I'll wait till next week, or at least I think it's gonna take uh, a week or so for the new original part to come and uh, put it back and it will work also for the hot water. So this actually, this module system, this water flow inlet regulator controller, it's actually not too bad um, to repair. Okay, so let's put it back. Since I already sealed the, the hot water hose on this part here. The first thing you want to do is insert the black hose. Okay, make sure it's tight. Yep. And then make sure you use the metal clipper to clip it back. Make sure we dry the water that's in here. Okay, we're gonna put up the plug. That's four, three, two. Now the one, which is the hot water hose, will not be plugged in because it is actually broken and I don't want it to be triggered to open and close. So I'll leave that out. Let's test it out. Let's get my hose. Okay, so let's see. Which one's the hot water? Which one's the cold one? There we go. And this is the hot one. Now the hot one, I'll put it on anyway, but I'll turn off the hot water valve. Let's screw it in. Okay, let's turn on the cold water valve hose. Okay, that water's on. Let's now plug it in. Okay, just make sure it works. Okay, let's see. Okay, it's now draining the water some water in here I put on to spin so it seems like the machine is working I'm gonna test out the actual wash so if you want to drain the water you want to put it on spin first it will drain the water and any water left it will spin out into a water drainage hose system all right so let's try loading it up We're just going to use cold water. Okay. Add the detergent, liquid detergent. Turn it on. It's on cold. Okay, make sure it's set to cold water. And okay, we'll put on medium spin, light. Okay. Start. Let's see what happens. Okay, so there you can see this is the cold water valve. This is the hot water valve, which I didn't turn on. Okay, so it's going to run off the cold water only. Let's see what happens. Once this works, I'll wait for my parts, which will come in a week, and we'll do it again. Problem with all these <coughs> machines is that. You know, they're made of plastic, so the problem with them is that the plastic is not always 
the best option, especially when you interact with the hot water, it will eventually become brittle and break. You don't see, I'm testing whether there's any leak. So far, I don't see any leak. It's a very good sign, checking any leak. Nope, seems pretty good. Okay, so it's pretty good. Looks like the water got into the washing machine. No leak has been observed. Rotating and spinning, doing its washing. So it looks like it's good. So yeah, so what I would do is we'll still use this machine on cold and then I'll wait for my parts in about a week or so and then we'll replace it again uh, with a new module, right? So this machine still work for running cold water washing. Awesome. Thanks for watching educate2.com.